Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at the system file checker in Windows and use it to verify that files have not become corrupted or there's any problems with them. Okay, and basically if it's corrupted it'll come up with a window like this and we'll show you how to repair that. Okay, the first thing we need to do is open up PowerShell as admin, so we right click on PowerShell, okay, or actually show you how to get to PowerShell. Okay, and then right click on it, run as administrator. Okay, type in the password. Okay, okay, and now we need to type in SFC scan now. Okay, and what that'll do, that'll spend half an hour or so scanning all the system files beginning verification phase of system scan and we'll go through all the percentage up to 100 and if there are no errors it'll say do not find any integrity violations or something and basically you'll be okay however if you do have any problems it'll come up with this and then you can check basically the log it's a huge file and you can pretty much see all the files that mean scan and what errors etc were in there. Okay. Okay, so now we want to basically repair the errors that we found earlier and all we need to do is run this command which is dism dism forward slash online forward slash cleanup dash image forward slash restore health. Okay, the capitalization is not required, however, we have typed it in just to make it look nicer. And it's kind of getting like normal practice now. Okay. Press enter, and then that'll basically use the default location to restore the image. If we wanted to, we could have added basically a location for the restore image, and that would have been added over there at the end. Okay, like for example, C uh, colon backslash and then a folder name or so, or your DVD drive. Okay, once that reaches 100, it'll repair the Windows system files and everything should be back to normal. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching.